with just one year to go until the World Cup in 2019 due to be hosted in Japan. Let's have a look at the history of rugby in Japan and let's summarise it before next year's tournament. So if you do go on to enjoy, do subscribe. Let's get on with the history. Like many Western customs, rugby first reached Japan when gunboat diplomacy deployed by the United States and European powers ended the country's period of self-imposed isolation in 1854. The first recorded instance of a team being established as rugby being played in Japan was in 1866 with the founding of the Yokohama Football Club. The growth of Japanese rugby in the early 20th century at the height of the Anglo-Japanese alliance was rapid. By the 1920s there were nearly 1,500 rugby clubs and more than 60,000 registered players, which meant that its resources were larger than those of Scotland, Wales and Ireland combined. Despite these extremely impressive figures, Japanese rugby was still isolated and to an extent insular. The first rugby tours to Japan did not occur until the 1930s. After World War II, Prince Chichibu was honorary head of many athletic organisations and was nicknamed the Sporting Prince due to his efforts to promote skiing, rugby union and other sports. He was converted to rugby after the Japanese Rugby Football Union president Shikeri Kayama returned from a long sea voyage and was able to market the game to the Prince. He attended Oxford University but was only there for one term and had to return when his father, the Emperor Taishodied, in Japan passed away. In 1926 he himself became the Japanese Rugby Football Union himself. Japanese rugby made a surprisingly speedy recovery in the post-war period despite massive damage to infrastructure and the death of many players. In September 1945, less than a month after the end of the war, an advertisement for rugby players in Hokkaido managed to draw no less than 50 people to a meeting. On the 23rd of September 1945, the first post-war schools match was held in Kyoto. Kobe Steele encouraged the game amongst his workers at the end of 1945, believing it would raise their morale and set a precedent for the later heavy corporate involvement in Japanese rugby. In the 1950s, Japan was toured by two of England's major university sites. Oxford University toured Japan in 1952 and 1956, and Cambridge University toured there in 1953. In 1956, a combined Oxbridge side toured the country. The Junior All Blacks also toured in this period. Japan beat the Junior All Blacks 23-19 in 1968. After losing their first four matches on a tour of New Zealand, they won the last five. Japanese training methods have been criticised for focusing more on discipline than initiative. One common drill is the run pass, which involves players running the length of the field and exchanging passes, often for as long as an hour or more. The former Japanese Prime Minister Yoshiri Mori in June 2005 became president of the Japan Rugby Football Union. It had been hoped his clouts would help secure the 2011 Rugby World Cup for Japan, but instead the event was awarded to New Zealand in late November 2005. This led former Mori to accuse members of the Commonwealth of Nations of passing the ball around their friends. The most famous victory came in 2015 in the World Cup, beating 2007 champion South Africa 34-32 with the last play of the match. The inclusion of the Sunwolves in 2016 to the Super Rugby franchise seemed like a big step for Japanese rugby, but their time in the league has been extremely difficult. Currently this season they sit bottom with only 3 wins and 13 losses. But an encouraging signs of being able to host the World Cup is fantastic and hopefully will encourage the growth of the sport even more in Japan in this beautiful country. Let's hope so. So there you go, there's the history of Japan. Lots of videos coming out on the channel about the history of Japanese rugby and the different stadiums and everything leading up to the World Cup. So do subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of them videos. Thanks for watching, I've been Bish Rugby. See you soon.